Hey everybody, today Rado runs through Paperback by designer Tim Fowler. This is a very, very cool game that mixes Dominion style deck building card game with a Scrabble style word game. And this is going to be a really tricky run through for me to do today because, uh, you know, full disclosure here, I am terrible at word games. You know, I'm actually a fairly uh, verbose fellow. I, uh, have a decent lexicon, um, look at me with all the fancy words, and yet somehow I always just tend to freeze up and I know I'm going to do really, really bad trying to film and come up dynamically with words on the fly to best use my cards. And so, to help me with that, I am joined today by my lovely wife, Jennifer Ham, who is much, much better at this game than me. No pressure, honey. And so, if I get in a little bit of trouble trying to come up with some words, I'm sure Jen will help me out. Okay, so the game is set up really, really simple. Everybody gets their starting deck of 10 cards, you know, very deck builder style. I, one, two, three, four, five. I got a starting hand of five cards, and then of course there's five off to the side. Now, there are a whole bunch of stacks of cards you can buy from cheap to expensive. These cards cost two cents, these cost four, six, eight, uh, you know, and, and so on. There's also these Victory point cards. Again, very Dominion-like. These ones give you four points. They cost five bucks. These ones give you seven points. They cost uh, eight bucks, and so on. Now, we, keep, we play the game trying to spell words to get money to buy cards. And as we get bigger and better words, we can get victory point cards as well. The game is over when one of these, or two of these four decks are completely emptied out of victory points. There's another way it can win two, which is all about this common deck. In addition to whatever cards I've drawn, which I don't know what Jen's doing, uh, I have no idea what she just did. I was just looking at your cards. Were you cheating? All right, then let's shuffle it up again. So apparently, Jen has decided to cheat by helping out by pre-figuring uh, out all her words. So we gotta shuffle that up <laughs> and play for reals. I was gonna speed it up a little. Mm, no, 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 we gotta play for reals. Gotta give the people the real experience. Okay, so we're totally shuffled up. Now, so I, my starting hand, I'm the first player. One, two, three, four, five cards that have not been pre-screened by Jen. You gotta watch this lady. All right, so I got a wild card, an S, an N, a T, and a blank. All right, so uh, the starting deck is five wild cards and five consonants, which are um, T, R, N, S, and L, if I recall correctly. So this is my starting hand. Oh, I forgot one other thing. Everybody also gets a special secret power, a superpower. Mine is the power of the typo. Once per turn, if I make a word without using any wild cards, I get an extra buck for that word. Now I'm gonna use wild cards here. And so I've got to spell a word with T, N, S, two wild cards, and an E. Because if I want, I can use this E, because this is available, it's part of the common pool, it's available to everybody. So, now let's see what I can come up with. And you can see, you know, Jen's got her hand of cards, she's already thinking about what she's gonna do. You know, when, when it's not your turn, you're definitely staring at your cards, trying to come up with the best word you can. Um, what was that? A uh, door shutting. A door shut, okay, all right. So, what am I gonna do here? I, I'm annoying, I've gotta use then E. Uh, I could do S N. O U T. No, that's snout, but that'd be snoat. Snoat. Um, T. Oh dear. T O N E S. I could do that, but that'd be tomes. The old classic Scrabble trick of just add an S to the end of your word. So now that I means I'm not using this wild card, but that's okay, because this wild card, which I can play as any letter, gives me no score or no money anyway, so I don't need to use it. So T O N E S. And now that is. You can see I get one dollar for that, one dollar for that, one dollar for that, and one dollar for that. So I just made four bucks all by my lonesome. I didn't need Jen's help at all, although I'm sure she's got a much fancier word than tone with an S at the end. All right, so I've got four bucks to spend. I'm not using this card. I go in my discard pile, and let's see. Four bucks to spend. These cost two, these cost three, these cost four, so I should just go ahead and buy the best I can. This S has a special power when I use it, plus one per wild that's in the word I use. And this R, this is the first word of the word, plus two. Mm. Ooh. Well, remember, you don't want to use wilds. Yes, that's a good point. I mean, my whole special, I want to get wilds out of my deck if I can, so that I have a better chance of, you know, scoring off my typo. So, and S doesn't really benefit me so much. And Jen, oh, by the way, Jen would like me to point out that her special power is, we didn't already talk about this, is uh, once per turn, Jen wants to use three or more wilds, it gives her plus one. So, because she has a stuck key. I think I will take the R, 
because my name's Richard Rotto Ham. And if I can start a word with it, it's plus two, so that's pretty nice. So that's what I bought with my four bucks from the word tones. All of it goes into my discard pile. A new one comes out, ED. You know, of course, now you have to use these again. You can't split it up, but you know, ED, you can just come up with a verb and then put ED at the end and boom, you're, you're golden. And that thing, when you use it in a word, gets you three points or three bucks. So that's pretty nice. Anyway, my turn is over. I draw back up to my new hand of five cards. Jen, she has already come up with a word, I am sure. Yep. What do you got? Nestle. N-E-S-T-L-E. Nestle. N-E-S-T, yep, all right. And how, what is that total? It's one, two, three, four. Okay. No better than my tones, although quite a bit fancier. But still, so what are you buying? I'm gonna buy the S. She's gonna buy the S, okay. And so the NG, which obviously comes very nice with an I, which we don't have, but we do have wild cards. So, let's see what I got for my next hand. Of course, it's gonna be the rest of my starting cards. Let's see, L, R, three wilds and an E. I gotta be able to come something like that. At the beginning of the game, it's actually, it's pretty easy going. Um, you know, half your deck is wilds. You've got a vowel. Um, I mean, heck, I could just go R, um, you know, R O L E S. Yeah, I'm just gonna go with rolls. Plural of roll. Or, R, yeah, R, R O L E S. And again, I won't use one of my wild cards, but that's okay. And so that is one, two, three. That one is only worth three bucks, not quite as fancy. So what am I gonna spend at three? These both cost three, this costs two. But obviously I should buy a better one if I can. So this S, oh, you gotta go with an S. If a word score is $8 or eight cents or more, you get an extra card. So you get to draw more if you're using a big word. Or if this is the last letter, plus one, oh, come on, that's, that's easy peasy. I gotta have that one. That's super nice. Um, right, okay. So I take that, another one comes down, and then I'm gonna have to draw back up to five. Although Jen has already figured out her, what are you doing? Leader. Leader. L-E-A-D-E-R. Those wild cards are very, very powerful. Although it's they're great, but they give you no points. So, yes. and oh, and she has used three wild cards in a word. So what's your total then? Four. Four, One, so two, she gets to do four. four. All right, while well, she's thinking about what to buy, I gotta reshuffle my deck. Shuffle, 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 never a problem. Do you wanna sing the shuffling song, Honey Pie? You don't have to if you don't want to. Okay, well, you have to keep singing it. Uh, <laughs> well, there'll be plenty more shuffling coming because this is a deck builder. So what are you buying? I'm going to buy ED. All right. So one, two, three, four, five. And all, almost all my wild cards came up. So and, you know, the beginning of the game, super easy going. When you're getting all these wild cards, you can spell anything you want. But once you start having to use these bigger ones, things get a little bit more complex. But... I'm almost inclined to, um, you know, again, since these wild cards do nothing, uh, what the heck, I'll just go ahead and roll. You know, roll, roll, R-O-L-L. -L -L. Um, still, again, nothing fancy. I'm just kind of treading water. I need to be doing better in this. But since I didn't draw any of my new cards I bought, they're going to be coming up in my next hand. So I'm not going to use that. I have the little roll. One, two, three. Although, oh, I forget. I don't have to keep using all these wilds. So actually, that's dumb. As long as I um, once per turn, if a word has no wilds, so R L E E R Earl, no L E R, no oh, R E L, no, there is no E L R. It's not even. Yeah, yeah. Sure, I got to use at least one wild to get a word out of this R O L E. But I have to remember that that you know I, I need to pick up some vowels from someplace other. Okay. So anyway, roll. That's one, two, three. It's only three points. Could take this other S that Jen didn't grab. L. All were if your word uses all your cards in your hand plus two bucks, or another S. If a word's I don't know if I'm going to be scoring an, an 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 eight cent word anytime soon. I think I'll take this L. Okay. Boom. It goes in my discard pile. Now this is an interesting thing. Whenever you draw, whenever you take the cards from the big decks, if you ignore what are called the alternates. The alternates become more attractive. You take one of these cubes, you put it on there, and now this thing that used to cost three only costs two. So if there's a particular card down here that nobody wants, over time, it gets cheaper and cheaper and cheaper if people keep ignoring it. So anyway, so I've made that S cheaper. And so now I'm gonna draw a new hand. One, two, three, four, five. And Jen, of course, has already figured out what she's gonna be doing. What do you got there? Nested. N-E-S-T-E-D. -E oh, and what's that total? One. Two, three, four, five. All right, and you use this, didn't you? No, I just used it. Well, don't use the wild card. Use the e, because okay. this actually gives you a point. Right. So in e. So now, yeah. So and just discard that. Okay. Six. 
Six, I'll say so. Jen is now jumping up into the big leagues. Thanks, with no small part to me. She was about to throw a point away. Can you believe that? All right, so what are you buying? I guess I'll take this R. So she's taking the R. All right, and what's it do? Ooh, actually, I always like the H. She likes Ooh, the H. I like both of those. I'll take that R. Why did you take it? What was it? Oh, plus three cards next hand. So she uses, doesn't matter whatever happens with the word, guaranteed her next hand is going to be a big score. And it, this itself only adds one dollar, whereas the H, if you use it, adds three value to it. I always like this one. And after scoring, oh yeah, this one's really cool. Um, but anyway, but she didn't take it, so that's fine. That means the H moves down here. Now let's hope I can get out of the threes and four doldrums. Here's my S. I definitely want to end my word with this because it'll give me, I'll get to draw an extra card next turn. Let's see. And uh, if I use no wilds, then I can get plus one. So can I do something? Um, let's see. T E. Uh, the, uh, the common, yeah. These are mostly vowels, although there are a couple of special case common cards as well. Uh, e N T, you know. Uh, I don't want to use this wild. I want to get an extra buck. Uh, S, S E. Oh, cents. Oh, but that S E N T S is not a word. There's no plural for cent. Um, cents. <sighs> That's pretty good though. Even if I don't get the plus one card next turn, I do get the plus one dollar now for not using any wild cards. Hmm. But the question is, can I do better? And now I'm going to introduce, I'm going to tell you guys what I think is probably the most brilliant feature of this entire game. Now it's still early. I don't think I'd be using this normally. I would think about this a little bit more. I would have time on Jen's turn to think, but you know, Jen's just, she's already figured out her next turn. She's not giving me time to think, but this is really, really cool because if you've ever played word games, I mean, they can be subject to a lot of analysis paralysis. They can be really, really tough on somebody. Is there, you know, and in this game, you get more and more complex hands with all kinds of crazy mixes of multiple car, uh, multiple cards and cards that have special rules and stuff like that. I mean, your, your, your head can be done in. You can spend 10 minutes thinking about trying to find what's, I know there's a perfect word here. It'll give me 11 cents. What is it? And everybody else, of course, will fall asleep at the table while you are doing that. So what the game does, they have this very cool system called a bounty, where if you, sus you know, so I've come up with something here, right? I've come up with scent. It's not particularly good, but heck, I mean, it's one, two, three, four, plus I get one more because of my typo. It's five points. That's pretty good. I'm not sad about that, but I'm saying, if I can't think of anything better, if I want, I can put my cards on the table for all to see, and I can tell everybody at the table, I'm offering a bounty. If somebody can come up with something that I will use, then they get a reward. And so I'm going to do that right now. Um, and Jen doesn't have anything? I don't have anything. You don't have anything? There's nothing better than scent? There's nothing? Well, you can use all of your things, so how can I do better? Um, well, because I'm not using this S. I want to put this S at the end, because it'll give me an extra card next turn. So what I don't want to do is I don't want to use my wild so I can get an extra dollar now. Oh. And I, I need the E is the only vowel I have. Sorry, I thought you were using S-C-E-N-T-S, scents like the oh. scents. No, okay, that's it. Yeah, that's pretty cool. But um, no, I, I don't want to use this wild card. So with the, just a single vowel E and ending with an S, I mean, I, I wouldn't mind, uh, heck, I'll uh, like, oh, I could just go with sets, S-E-T-S. -E that's a real word. Now I'm giving up a dollar to get, a, basically to get an extra dollar. So that's, I want to do it with all of them. Um, so because if I can do this all of them, I get one, two, three, four, five, six. Help me get six points out of this thing and there will be a reward for you. What is my reward? Well, I'm sure the folks watching would like to know, so let's figure out a way to... I'm sure there's 500 people who have already come up with, of course it's this or that! Of course they have. Um, actually, I don't know if there is. Um, uh, tens? T-E-N-S-S? -E -S? No. Snets? <laughs> Snets? T... Stens? Like a stent, or a heart stent, but no. I don't think stents is an actual word, is it? I think it's with an I as well. St uh, stents. Um, ten. Two, like two S's? Tennis? No. T. Nets? Nets? No. Oh, I'm just back, still back to the normal. Ah, I don't think I can do it. Can you come up with anything? No. So you can't come up with a better word than what I was already going to use, which I've already forgotten. What was it? S stents. Oh, I, I was going to do S E N T. That's the best you can do because the bounty is a cube. If Jen can come up with something better than that, 
Sense. Right. Sense. S C E N T S. That's all I got for you. Yeah, but um. So you get your extra well, thing. Oh, yeah, this is still over here. Yeah, I'm just putting it there. Right, but no, I mean that's no better than what I'm already doing because um, I, you're, you're putting this in, which doesn't give me any extra points, and you're preventing me from getting the extra value. So um, Jen has failed, folks. Don't take my advice. All right. Well, because how does that work better? To have a to, to, to go with sense. I mean, it's, it's clever, S-C-E-N-T-S, but this doesn't add anything to the total value of the word, and I end up losing a point. I know, but sense, you, this isn't a word. No, yeah, I mean, that's what I'm saying. The best I can do is scent. Well, because this way you get a card next turn. Yeah, but I'd rather have an extra dollar this turn so I can buy a better card. You get an extra dollar by using that. Oh, yeah, so of course, yeah, well, yeah, well, you there you go, I'm still sent. No, no. Okay. That's what, no. <laughs> You, if you use that and that, you get. One, I get the two, dollar. Three, four, oh, because I, I I lose my dollar there, but I get my dollar there. Yes. All right. Uh, cents or S C or S C E N T S. Yes. All right. Jen has made a valid argument. I was really excited to use my typo. Jen says, "Don't use your stupid typo power. It's crappy." And <laughs> because I'm, I'm losing this point, but I'm getting the point for that. That's a good point. I didn't think about that. So anyway, so I will use Jen's word instead of mine. I'm under no obligation to. But I could stick with my old crappy one, but um, I'll go with this one instead. Now, Jen's reward, and you know, and if there were more players, everybody around the table would be involved in this. Everybody would be trying to come up with the best. And as soon as somebody does come up with the best, that gets me the best for, the best return I can get on my turn, they get a cube. So Jen has a cube. What she can do with that is at she can hold on to that for the rest of the game. Anytime she wants, that cube is worth one extra cent. So if she was going to do, turn in a word that was, um, you know, 10 cents, she could use that, cur that cube and turn it into an 11, and she could get one of these big super point scores. So the bounty is a huge deal, and it's a brilliant way to ensure that, you know, analysis paralysis cannot take this game down. Everybody can be involved if there's somebody at the table who's a real slowpoke, if they open up the bounty, which is what I've done. I'm the slowpoke, and now actually, what was all this? So it's one, two, three, four, five. So I get five... I, still, I could have gotten six. If we could have done this without using this, it would have been six. Or without using this, it would have been six. But you're saying it's impossible. Well, I can't do it. All right. So, Folks at home, let me know if it's possible. But in the meantime, so I, I get to buy a five. I really wanted to buy a six because I really wanted to get that H that Jen didn't take. So I'm stuck with a five. Or I could get a, th a three and a two. Um, so I could get two nicer cards. Let's see, what are the fives? Oh, you could get this one. Yes, I know. This is, this is normally three, but it's only two. So I could get like one of, um, oh no, these are fours. So I could get this three plus this two. I could get both of those. The if you buy this one first, does this come down? So you yes, see it does. One is? Yes, so I could do that and then, um, yeah. So I, and I'd have two threes to choose from. But the fives that are up, P, if this is the first, so if I start with this P, it's plus two bucks. If I trash... If you trash a card from hand, gain a card. I want this B. I want to start trashing cards because remember, I want to get. I want to thin my deck, so I'm going to take this B for my sense. And Jen, meanwhile, got a cube that she will use at some point in the future. And so a new thing came down. Okay, and uh, my hand is too, so I'm going to have to reshuffle. But in the meantime, honey, what you got there? Okay, L E T T E R. Letter. Okay, very appropriate. Um, and so that's one. Okay, so you got your wild card bonus because yep. of your stuck key. This is clearly a stuck key. Um, so it's one, two, three, four. You got you get a four. All right. Or you could take a two and this three, which is a bit cheaper because oh. nobody's taken it yet. So you could get a three for almost half off and still get a nice letter O. All right. In the meantime, I got to shuffle. So there's, I've still got two cards and da, da, da. Shuffle, 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 never a kerfuffle. This is his shuffling song. Boom, boom. Okay, that'll do. Let's see. Three. Let's just pull a few more in. Four. Five. That's right enough. Okay, so are you, oh, you are taking that. I'll take the S. And then a new. And this And one. the O. And nice. Okay. So, and now it's my turn again. Let's see what I got. Oh, wait. And remember, I get to draw one more card because I ended my last word with that S. So I'm going with six cards. Oh, and I see some nice colors here. Whatever this word is, I'd better start with an R because if it does, it's plus two. Let's see, and this B. If I trash a card from hand, gain a card worth one dollar more than I would otherwise get. So I'm definitely gonna trash. Let's see, do I trash one of these wild cards or do I trash my other R? I could get rid of my, my old R with no special power and replace it with, I mean, how often do I really want two R's? Hmm. 
But these wild cards, they just don't do anything. But anyway, and I've also got B, so it's probably, I'm immediately going towards Robe. Um, or R-O-B-B-E-R. -B -B -E oh, Robber. I said it first. And I didn't ask for a bounty no. anyway. Oh, you're right. Uh, robber, so, and then robbers, not that it matters. So, there we go. R, uh, where's the O? There is no O. Ah, oh, yeah, no, R-O-B-B-E-R-S, robbers, all right, or rubbers, um, depending on your predilection, I suppose. So, my total, and unfortunately, I am using two wilds, but again, these wilds don't do anything. If I were to pull these out, and um, now, I haven't asked for a bounty yet, so. I'm just asking you're just... if you want to trash something from your hand. Well, yeah, yeah, I mean, I mean if I trash one of these. Because you that's... can do robber just as easily. Um, well, no, I, I, I can. I don't want to use any wilds because these wilds get me nothing. And let's see, so if I can, so R E R R E B B E R B E R R Burr. <laughs> is B R R? B R R no. is, uh, is Burr. Oh, yeah. I don't know if that's actually a word or not, but that's awesome. Look at that. I'm losing a point for not using the Burr. Um, let's see. Now it's interesting, by the way, the rules don't say anything about the traditional Scrabble inspired, hey, I challenge you, that's not really a word type thing. It really just kind of leave it up to, um, you know, I, I, you know, I would not be surprised if burr does appear in the dictionary as a legitimate word because it's been common use for so long. So Jen and I, we just go on ahead and check. We just have a computer nearby. Honey, do a dictionary search for burr because that would be awesome. But you know, it's really up to you. You guys can house rule it any way you want. If you, um, you know, I've read some people just um, do a modification of the Scrabble thing. If, if I use a word and somebody challenges it, if it doesn't show up in the dictionary, I lose a turn. If it does show up in the dictionary, the challenger loses a card from their hand. Okay. What, is, does Burr appear in the dictionary? The says it's an expression used to express being cold. Wiktionary? Wiktionary. I don't know if I trust Wikionary. How about like Merriam-Webster or something like that? Oh. You are picky. All right, I'll look it up. Yeah, just put the word dictionary in the uh, in the Google search. Boy, folks, you're getting a complete raw, unedited experience. This is what it's like to play games with me and Jen. Me shouting at the top of my lungs. Um, you know, Jen very quietly, just um, calmly and collectively, silently winning in the background <laughs> while I just flounder around like a doofus. Um, Jen failing. What are you doing? Well, I'm doing the touch screen thing. <laughs> um, are you trying to go to mw.com? Yes. Oh, you could have just done a search in the Google line for dictionary. Oh, colon. for God's sake. Just in the Google line, dictionary colon brr, and it will tell you to. Di I trust dictionary.com more than wikia, wiktionary.com because I've never heard of wiktionary.com. It would be at this point if I only had, um, if I had both my hands free, I would rip the con computer from her hand and do this myself. I just don't know what she's doing. <laughs> What are you doing? <laughs> All right, do you not want me to use Burr? Do you really want to put the audience to sleep? I asked you on this video to help me. Dictionary.com says... Thank you. It's a word, folks! Oh, it's a word according to dictionary.com. So that is three, four, five. Um, and I will trash one of these. One of these little guys are gone. So um, this is worth one more. So three, four. Um, oh, but I don't get the plus two because it doesn't start. Ah, uh, well, what the heck. So... Um, three, four, five, six. So it is six points. Maybe I could still do better, but I was happy to trash a card um, to thin my deck. And so with six, what am I gonna buy? Uh, the H is still here. I'm gonna go ahead and grab that H that I wanted to grab before. All right. And so this goes away and, um, oh wait, no, no, no. I forgot I had plus one. I could go up to a seven on that burr. Put that H back. Put that H back. All right, so seven. I can get P, three cards next hand, or K. If word is seven letters, or like I'm gonna come up with a seven letter word. Yeah, right, I'll take the P. Okay, there we go. Nice. And I draw back up. One, two, three, four, five. And now are you doing your, what do you got there? I got letters. Letters. L-E-T-T. -T. Oops, no I don't. Lers, L-E-T-T -T -T letters. Oh. Letters. Mm. Ah, Jim was quiet. Okay, Sorry, letters. L E A D. No, oh, ah! <laughs> a ladder. No, because you need an E. Yeah. Um, not that I'm helping. No. You, if you need any help, you let me know. Okay, I will. Now the whole world can watch you flounder around for a while. I was too busy helping you. <laughs> well, um, there's always leaders. L E 
A-R-S. Well, yeah, there's no reason to, I mean, you only had two, so you weren't getting your bonus anyway. How so. about learns? L-E-A-R-N-S. All right, learns. learns. And I do get a, I get a bonus per wild in the world. Oh, oh, well, yeah, you're, okay, yeah, so that's um, one, two, three, four, five, six. 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 That's pretty good. And what you going to take? I'm taking the H. All right. We oh, are not, we are not making E's. Ah, which makes like the that. H cheaper. Yeah, but it gives me two cents per wild. Uh, plus two per wild. Oh, very nice. Okay. And so my turn again. I've drawn up five cards, I believe. I haven't even looked at them yet. Some wilds. There's my Ooh. S. If it, I, I want to start with this S. How nice it came with the T. So I've got st. And I can end with an S. And I got an E. S-T-E. Stees. So, all right. Uh, S, uh, Oh, again, I don't want to use any wilds if I can because of my typo. So if I keep the wilds out, um, T E S T E S, stess. No, I don't think so. Shoot. Uh, well, I think I'm going to have to use a wild on this one. Or S E, no, S sets. S E T S, sets. The plural of set. Lovely. Alrighty, so I get one because I didn't use any wilds. One, two, three, four, five. So it's only five, but I get to draw an extra card next turn. So it's five and I get to draw an extra card next turn. And what am I gonna do for five? I think I'll take this H now because it's gotten cheaper thanks to Jen. All right. And this comes down. And next turn, I'm gonna get to draw five plus one extra. So I'm gonna get to draw six. So I'm gonna shuffle. Meanwhile, so you can see, I mean, the game is starting to evolve. We're, we've gotten out of our early doldrums of just, you know, coming up with uh, you know, you know, know nothing words that are worth you know, three or four, and we're now getting up into hovering around the, the fives and sixes, and I even got a seven. How lovely. Five, six, no, one, two, three, four, five, six. There we go. So my hand's ready. In the meantime, I'm sure Jen has already figured out her perfect word. Yeah, rented. R E N T E D. Rented. And um, if, uh, if word scores eight or more plus one card, and this doesn't score eight, I'm sure. Nope. Three, four, five, six. Six. And seven? No. Three, four, five, six. Oh, okay. So you get a sixer. All right. And what are you going to buy? Um, ooh, I like this. This, though, look at this. Um, wilds, which means the victory cards, you can buy them for one less than normal. Yeah, but this... You may make an adjacent card wild. Oh, yeah, that's a nice, nice, and it's worth three points. Yeah. Well, that F is nice too. All right, let's see, I want that F pretty bad. See, L, if you're, okay, now I want to use all my letters. And I want it to start with an R, and I got my T, Ooh. and I've got the consonant city over here. Basically, I've got one vowel and a billion, what are you doing here? I also got three cards next turn. Oh, you forgot to get three cards? Okay, I'm sure, I trust you. So R, uh, E, R, E, and this could be A, L, L, Oh, if I just had an E, I could get Relent. Ah, ah that'd be cool. Relent has two L's? You, e you have an E. Relent. Yes, I do. I do, I do, I do. I'm so smart. But I need to use all my letters. It's because I'll get plus two bucks if I can use all of them. Ah. R-E-L. Wait, Relent only has one L, right? Yeah. Relent. Yeah, I'm sure it does. Uh, um... Let's see. You guys are getting a real, you know, completely unabridged view of what this game is like. Uh, at least when you play with me and Jen, because we're very open and stuff like that. Relent. Re uh, re release? No. What has two L's? Starts with an R. And... <laughs> um, uh, well, you know what? I think that's a good place to stop because we've been going, huh? Roller. R-O-L-L-E. Rollant? Rolled? Like rollerblades. It's not helping me with the N and the T. You asked for two L's and an R. Well, N and N and a T as well. <laughs> okay, well. Tell you what, in fact, let's end with this. I'm sure Jen's got a wonderful word over there. Um, looks like she's got two words. You, have, you can't have two words. No, I'm just... You don't have the space bar. But anyway, so I'm going to open this up to suggestions. If somebody can figure out a way for me to do all of this, uh, use all these cards. Can everybody see all these cards? All these cards, starting with the R... Because if I do that, it'll be um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. That's a tenner. That's a tenner, which means, well, I could, I could get an 8 and I could still get a 2. I need an 11 to get the Angel of Death, which is the first victory point card. Or I could get an 8-point victory card and a 2. There's got to be a way to do it, folks. 
Tell you what, I put the bounty out to all of you. Please po comment, you know, post comments, and somebody tell me where it is. But in the meantime, in spite of the fact that Jen is still playing with her, do you want to show off the word you come up I with? Haven't come no, up with you guys. Me. Yeah, I mean, because oh, look at this hand. The game can get crazy. So Jen, I mean, what are you, what are you trying to solve here? All right. Okay, you're gonna trust this. I got it. I got uh, a oh, word. You have, do. What is it? S N O R T I N G. Snorting? Snorting. Of course, but you didn't use the E. That would have been an extra point if you could have gotten that E in there. No. You're, throw, right. you're, you're throwing a dollar away. But anyway, folks, um, yeah, if anybody can see all that, come up with a better thing than what Jen just did um, than snorting. But we're going to stop right there. And if you'd like to see how the cooperative version of this game plays, which is what Jen and I really enjoy, you can go ahead and hit the button that's on screen or follow the show notes to extended playthrough. Or you can hit the other buttons and go straight to final thoughts. Your choice in five, four, three, two.